In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get down to your ideal surfing weight. I'm gonna show you how to do it quickly and reliably, but most importantly, I'm gonna do it in such a way it's gonna allow you to keep it off forever. All right, what's up? Kyle Russ here with Hydro Mind. Now, it is January the 1st, 2020, just after the holidays. I've eaten a whole bunch of food that I normally don't eat. I put on a little bit of weight. I'm not at my ideal weight, so I'm gonna show you what I do to lose those extra pounds when I need to. Now, I've tried so many different diets, so many different techniques and things to lose weight, to maintain weight and all that stuff. And I have really, really honed in on what works for just about anybody and it'll work for you too if you follow it. Now, I'm gonna be adding in a whole bunch of different tools along the way in order to lose this weight. But what's most important is what I call progressive dieting. So you don't add all these things all at once. You add little tools in as you go progressively over time to lose that weight and at, by the end you've implemented all these different things and they're all in in place so you're losing weight rapidly and then you're able to maintain it over time the important part about progressive dieting is it takes energy to break bad habits and if you try to break every bad habit all at once and then implement all these new habits all at once it takes so much mental energy that it exhausts you and then you break and then you quit and you go back to a bad diet worse than you were before and end up binge eating and things like that so progressive dieting is super super important um, we're going to be adding things like intermittent fasting um, full fasting cold showers uh, ketogenic diet, low carb, um, high intensity interval training, but it's all gonna come in little, little chunks so it's progressive so that we lose the weight in a way that allows us to keep it off and get it off reliably over a one month period. All right, 181 pounds, that's pretty much exactly what I expected. I, that's kind of the range I stay in. My optimal weight, I'm five foot 10, my optimal weight is uh, 170, where I perform the best for surfing, um, as well as having a high strength to weight ratio and lots of endurance. So that's my optimal weight, 170. So my goal for this one month is to lose, lose 10 pounds. And for me, I'm not carrying a ton of body fat. There's definitely more than I want. So that's like the hardest, um, amount of body fat to lose. Like if I was say five foot, I'm five foot 10, if I was 200 pounds, I could lose 10 pounds in like a week. But now that it's the last 10 pounds, it's gonna take a little bit more, more expert kind of uh, labor, You would, I would say. So yeah, follow along in four weeks, I'm gonna be down to 170, um, maybe a little bit less, and I'm gonna do it almost pain free and in a progressive way that I'm talking about. Take you along for the ride so you can follow along. All right, now week one, this is gonna be the easiest week where we just add a couple little tools in the beginning. First one is intermittent fasting. We start that right away, eat inside an eight hour window. So I don't eat until 10 a.m. after I wake up and then I stop eating at 6 p.m. Super important to have that eight hour window. Depending on when you wake up, you can alter this, but it's super important to give yourself at least four hours of not eating before bed because you don't want to go to bed on a full stomach because then your body will use energy to digest that food and instead of using that energy to burn fat. So um, you want to be burning fat while you're sleeping, so you want to go to bed on an empty stomach, wake up on an empty stomach. Key points here, in order to um, not get really, really hungry in the mornings to give me that little window. I'll have a cup of coffee with no cream, so there's no almost zero calories in. I sweeten it with stevia, which is zero calorie. Also, I'll have um, some kind of carbonated drink that's zero calorie too, if, if I have to, if I can't make it to the 10 a.m. window, but uh, it's not that hard for me. I've done it for so long, but it, that's a really good tool to help you. As well, I'm gonna immediately cut out all carbohydrates and grains especially. So I'm gonna give myself what I call support snacks, it's just, which I use fruit. To go from Christmas time, the holidays, to eating all the cookies and breads and what all that stuff, so I'm, I'm way out of a ketogenic state. To instantly switch to that, you can give you things like headaches and flu-like symptoms. So these support foods, which I like, my, my personal favorite is just to eat an apple. So one apple a day is gonna keep those headaches away, it's gonna still keep give me energy, and it's gonna be a smoother transition to going from a carb surplus to next to no carbs. So that's week one. And then as well, I'm gonna be doing three workouts a day, and these are functional workouts that are gonna improve surfing performance, such as balance, rotational, uh, paddle strength, and then I'm gonna have full rest days. So I'm gonna have three workouts in uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, two full rest days, and then rest on the weekend, but I'll be doing breath training on my rest days as well. So I don't wanna be working out too hard. I don't wanna add the cardio really hardcore in the beginning while I'm adjusting my diet, because if I'm burning a whole ton of calories and I'm starting a new diet, 
and I'm intermittent fasting, that's just a whole, too much. So I leave out the cardio until week two. So my first workout this week is gonna be using a kettlebell. I'm gonna be doing functional compound movements, using as many joints as possible, using as many muscles as possible, and really, really stressing the balance. So we're doing a whole lot at once, really getting back your whole body primed for getting back in uh, optimal shape here this month. So this one is gonna be an overhead lunge. Second workout of the week is of course going to be paddle strength. Always, always keep this into my routine. And then the third workout of the week is going to be more functional kettlebell. Always go back to the kettlebell. It's so, so effective and hits every muscle you need. So here's an example meal from week one. I have an order of hot wings and one small apple. So there's no grains, there's no carby vegetables. This is fat and protein with hot sauces, uh, no carb, no sugar. And this is just to help me transition between zero or lots of carbs to zero carbs and this helps a ton. All right, week two, phase two, we're gonna go full ketogenic. So we're eliminating the support stacks. No more apples, we're going full ketogenic. So it's mostly fats, mostly proteins. But going this way, making your body only burning fat for fuel is gonna make the intermittent fasting a lot easier. So we're still gonna be doing the fasting in the morning with the coffee, but we won't eat till 10 a.m. And then we won't eat after 6 p.m. So you're going to bed in an empty stomach, so your body's recovering a lot fast, or your body's recovering better because it has an empty stomach and you're burning fat at night as well. We're gonna be doing the same workout schedule, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, doing the same type of workouts, full body functional strength. But on Tuesday, Thursday, when Last week we were doing full rest, we're gonna be doing active rest. So we're gonna be taking those same functional workouts and doing them at 50% capacity. So let's just say for example, one of those kettlebell workouts I could do 50 reps, instead I'll just do 25. That way you recover a lot better. If your muscles are sore and you work out those muscles a little bit, it pumps all the nutrients and blood through them and helps you to recover a lot faster and grow faster and get stronger. So we're gonna be doing active recovery and then uh, that's it for week number two. Um, all we're doing is adding the active rest and going full ketogenic. So we're upping it. That's the way phase training works is that we're just adding a couple things at a time. So what we're adding here is active recovery and full ketogenic. All right, week three, phase three, everything stays the exact same except, so now we're in a ketogenic state. We're burning fat for fuel. We are in an intermittent fasting, but now on our rest days, Tuesday and Thursday, where we're doing our uh, greasing the groove workouts, we're now gonna be adding fasted cardio to those days. So that's doing cardio before you eat at 10 a.m. So some point in that time before you wake up, before you eat, or after you wake up, before you eat, doing high intensity interval training. So we'll be doing Tabatas, and Tabatas are super simple and super powerful. So high intensity interval training means you do high intensity, which is max effort, 100%, mixed with rest. So the Tabatas are intervals of 20 seconds sprinting, 10 second rest, eight times. So if you do the math on that, that's four minutes of cardio in the morning. easily done, but it's super, super powerful. Because you're doing it fasted, your body kicks its metabolism into gear, so it starts burning even more fat. So this is really gonna um, accelerate the fat loss, but also it's gonna really kickstart your cardio too, because doing that sprinting really blows out your lungs, really strengthens your cardio system, your heart, your lungs, your diaphragm, and uh, it's super, super intense, but it's, you can do it super, super quick. And the, the benefit of that is that just say, time saving. Everyone gets busy, right? And cardio, doing long two hour jogs or things like that, take two hours, but studies now show that that's even less effective than doing short sprints. So super, super simple. But the reason we're adding it on the third phase here is because adding it in the beginning, it's, uh, it's 
burns a lot of calories, takes a ton of energy. If you're doing it in the beginning, it can really, really stress the body too much. It can make you crash and fail on the diet. So this way we've added, we've already made the lifestyle change with the diet and the eating on the certain times, adding the workouts, and now we're adding the intensity. All right, week four, phase four, everything stays the same other than we do a 24 hour fast on Sunday. So 24 hour fast looks like this. Saturday, you finish your last meal at 6 p.m. You don't eat again until 6 p.m. Sunday. So Sunday, you don't eat at all, no breakfast, no lunch. So it's 24 hour, four hours of not eating. So eight of that will be while you're sleeping and the rest is super, super easy. The point of this is to really accelerate fat loss, but it's also fasting is so good for building mitochondria density. It's gonna be those fuel cells that power your body and increasing the density is gonna increase vitality, longevity, strength, endurance, everything. As well, your cells are supposed to be dying by the millions every single day, but eating so much causes the six cells to stay alive. So this is gonna help you purge those six cells, sick and dying cells, let them die like they're supposed to, and let new healthy cells be born. So it'll really, really increase your overall health. And so phase four is really, really important. We've progressively built our way up to this point. We're living the healthiest lifestyle, healthiest lifestyle possible, and it was easy to get here because we did it in small pieces. Now you stay in phase four until you re re reach your desired weight. And so you can live here as long as you want. The important part is do not cheat, don't give yourself sugars, you don't give an addict his drug of choice. So just stick to the diet. If you do feel like you need to take a break, go back a phase, go to phase three, go to phase two, take a little stress off yourself, make things easy, but do not, uh, falter on the healthy eating. That's the most important part because it's so easy to fall off the rails. If you, if you give yourself cheat meals, you could be giving yourself a cheating lifestyle and then you could be back to where you started. So be strict about the diet, but be nice to yourself based on how much stress you're putting on your body. So listen to your body, stick in phase four till you get to where you want and then you'll be at your healthy performance weight. All right, it's the end of uh, week four, phase four, final weigh in. Weigh myself right now. One seventy two point six. All right, that is the full Waterman Shred Diet, four week progressive dieting, the easiest way to lose weight, the most reliable way to keep it off for a surfer. Includes the breath training, includes the ketogenic diet, the endurance training, the full functional body mobility, all that stuff. Now I didn't quite lose my goal of 10 pounds, but I did put on a bunch of muscle, so my strength to weight ratio is up, and I'm really at that performance weight where I perform my best. So I will stick with it a little bit longer in phase four to lose a bit more body fat, but I'm feeling great um, and I got here in a super easy way. The success rate of this type of dieting is 1000% if you do it correctly. Because of the phase training, it just makes it super, super easy, super easy to stick with it. And then that's why those uh, losses and gains are so reliable. If you wanna get involved in the Waterman Diet, I'm gonna be launching a done for you program that does all this laid out for you, that has all the workouts, all the scheduling, all the foods you need to be eat, plus the support from me. I'm gonna be doing a free trial of it. So it's a four week program. I'm gonna be doing a one month trial. So that means you get to do the whole thing for free. So unless you get the desired results that I asked for, you don't have to pay anything. So at worst, you get it for free. At best, you transform your body composition for life and get those gains and losses that you want to keep forever. It's gonna give you strength, it's gonna give you endurance, it's gonna give you vitality, and it's gonna give you longevity so you can serve at your best for as long as possible. Make sure to get your free trial. I'm posting, uh, I'm posting this video today and I'll be launching that free trial in just a couple of days. So if you're watching it at the time I'm posting this, wait a couple of days. If you're watching this later, the link will be down below. So if you wanna get involved with that, make sure you click that link, get that free trial. And if you really wanna support this channel, please hit like and subs subscribe. It'll help me create more content like this, but it'll also help me reach more surfers just like you. My name's Kyle Russ, thanks a lot for watching.